Hi and welcome to ING's quarter in 90 seconds. It's ING's purpose to empower people and put them in control of their finances. In the first quarter we launched in France the Coach Epargne, which basically puts people in charge of their savings and their investments. And in the Netherlands we're co-creating solutions with small businesses in the Ondernemers Lab. But we also launched new features in Inside Business and we've also started offering the Inside Business to clients in the UK and Ireland. So we're coming up with a lot of good ideas ourselves, but sometimes the smartest ideas come from outside. So we're closely monitoring what's happening out there in the fintech world. Over the last couple of months, we have started to cooperate with around 45 of those and look for smarter solutions using the fintechs. Now we don't just work with them, we put them through business accelerators like the ING Fintech Village in Belgium and the ING Innovation Studio in the Netherlands. People are responding to our efforts by choosing ING. So we gained another 250,000 new customers and we built another 100,000 primary relationships just in this quarter. And it's that base of satisfied customers that is the foundation for our good commercial performance. Our customers entrusted us with 9 billion of additional savings and we granted another 7 billion of additional loans. I'm pleased with the financial performance, certainly in view of the weakening conditions in which we have to work, with a lower economic growth, lower interest rates, and increased regulatory burden and cost. So these are just some of the things that stood out for me this quarter. See you next time.